Okay, here we have a laptop. It's a compact laptop with 512 megs of RAM running in, I think it's an AMD Athlon 3000 processor at around 800 megahertz. And there's a uh, IDE to flash adapter in there for a laptop style hard drive. The card I'm using is a Transcend 300X uh, 4 gig flash card. Um, and it's also SLC memory. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn the laptop on. And the install of Windows took a considerable amount of time. Probably, I don't know, about a half an hour. So the write speeds on this thing kind of suck. Or a little bit slower than normal. But the read speeds, or the boot up times and application loading times, is quite impressive. So let this thing boot up and you can see how this thing runs. Not that it each takes a second or so to launch. I'm going to go ahead and plug in a Bluetooth mouse, which has not been installed before, so it might take a second or so to, uh, to activate. I can't zoom in too close, otherwise um, it kind of cuts part of the screen off. Now, since it's a 4 gig card, I installed um, Office 2007 which takes about 1.2 gigs of space. Didn't have a lot of room, so I installed it on a uh, flash drive. And <laughs> that took forever to install. It was on a 4 gigabyte flash drive uh, with about 17 megabytes per second read speed. The writes were pathetic, and it took forever to install. But once installed, and I'll open Word here, and uh, I think this mouse even works. This is my, uh, there we go. Uh, Word, and this is a, uh, a cold boot of Word. It has not been launched yet. And this is running off a uh, flash drive. Or not a flat USB key. So there's Word and Excel. Oop, Excel's kind of had to think for a second. Which I think is pretty good considering. And here's Microsoft Publisher. There we go. And okay, let's go ahead and open up Foxy Reader, which is a PDF reader. Now, this one is one of the few applications that's actually installed on the computer itself. I don't really have a PDF to open up, but that's just the speed of the computer. Now, Firefox takes about as much time to open up as it does on the regular hard drive. Um, so, I don't think it's any slower, maybe faster. But as you can see, websites load pretty fast. So we'll go ahead and load CNN, which is a uh, pretty intensive website. There we go. I also turned off the swap file. So I'm thinking once it reaches uh, below 512 of RAM or it fills the RAM up, it's probably going to blue screen, but we'll see. Okay, so there's Word, or sorry, there's Firefox. Uh, Digsby, which is also on the computer, and it's pretty fast too. Here's Movie Maker, and this is all running off the flash drive. That's Movie Maker, um, Media Player, and my, keep in mind this is a uh, 800 megahertz um, AMD laptop. Um, now it has to open up the internet portion of it, so that's usually why it takes some time. not really sure what else there is to show you. Um, we have Internet Explorer, which obviously is a little bit faster than Firefox. And let's go ahead and open two things at once. There's Media Player, there's Firefox, which should still be in RAM, uh, Movie Maker, and we're doing all this stuff at the same time. Yeah, I've got to have a little bit. So there. Here's my computer. Here's the Bark E, the one that has um, Office on it. If we can go ahead and open, say, uh, let's see, PowerPoint. Let's do OneNote or InfoPath. So yeah, it's completely silent. It makes no noise, less power. Um, the 4 gigabyte 300X flash card retailed for about $35 with about a $16 um, dollar adapter to plug into a, a laptop hard drive IDE spot. Um, but once you go up to 8 megabyte or 
eight gigabytes. It goes a little bit more expensive, about seventy bucks for the eight gigabyte, gigabyte card, just as fast, more space. You go up to sixteen gigabytes, and you're looking about one hundred and seventy bucks. So, yeah, we got about three minutes left, or the battery's going to die here. Uh, not much else. <laughs> Fox Reader again. Loaded a twenty megabyte PDF, and it loaded pretty fast. Um, here's um, Outlook. Yeah, this is the first launch of Outlook, which probably has to create some kind of a PSD file, but I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this. No, we're just going to say no to that. No, email account. Next. Yes, finish. So a lot of this now has to do with the writing to the flash drive, which is a little bit slower, but as you can see, read speeds are just, just great. Um, no. Okay. Let's see what's Let's see what it's like again when you open it back up. Microsoft Outlook. Yeah, it sounds pretty fast. Um, and also shutdown time. Here we go, we're going to turn it off. Now the um, installation video to the flash card was actually recorded and should be on YouTube. I was trying to upload it, I was having a little bit of problems, so I'm probably going to try it uploading it with a different machine and see if that helps. But yeah, the installation video should be online on YouTube, so just go ahead and do a search for it. So, Or click on my name and look for my most recent videos. It should be close to the top. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.